Governor Ige says he and other state workers have received death threats amid the ongoing conflict over the 30 meter telescope. He's asking opponents and supporters to be careful with their language before words turn into violence. Jen Beniza reports. His face, his name, his information was posted, and there was the line time for the Hawaiians to start assassinating these terrorists. Alarming posts have been circulating surrounding ongoing Mauna Kea demonstrations. Even a post putting a bounty on a state worker after he sawed through a Hawaiian flag. But this post directed an individual who day in and day out puts his life on the line as a law enforcement officer and a public servant is shameful and should not be condoned. Governor Ige says he and others in his administration have received death threats. He says the hateful threats and cyberbullying need to stop. For those who claim to be protecting Hawaiian values, to resort to these tactics is disappointing, irresponsible, and very painful for me to see. There are concerns the hateful speech will eventually incite a violent reaction. Andre Perez, one of the protectors of Mauna Kea, says they agree with the governor. My message to the people is please refrain from violent language. Um, we condemn violent language. We condemn putting a bounty on people. We condemn putting out language that targets individuals in harmful ways. Some of the messaging that is actually sent out from Pu'uhuluhulu um, Mauna Media was actually um, talked about here, use of excessive force. Just some of the wording, can you talk to me about that? That is coming from some of your people. Yeah, I'll take responsibility for using language like excessive force because we have a responsibility to ensure that people are safe. And if we get indications that there might be excessive force, we're going to speak to that. Perez says they continue to do all they can to de-escalate the situation through Kapu Aloha.